Hey everyone, it's Diego Viteri. Welcome to a new video of Viteri Boxing. Today I will show you the most painful punch in boxing. The lever hook to the body or the left hook to the body. So let's begin. Why the lever hook to the body is the most painful punch in boxing? The first thing is because the, the lever is a huge organ. It's just as the, the size of your hand, just beneath your pectoral muscles and when the ribs are beginning. So whenever you feel a punch to the lever, in comparison to the head, you got a nerve, you got pain receptors in here that they're gonna shut everything in your body down, specifically your digestive system and your breathing system. So you're gonna feel breathless, you're gonna feel your, your legs cramp, and you're gonna feel like you, you're nauseous. So it's gonna shut you completely down. Compared to the head, whenever you feel a punch to the head and your head moves, you're gonna feel dizzy, you're gonna feel like an alarm is, is starting to cover up, but you're not gonna have pain. There are no pain receptors like in the liver. So whenever you feel a shot to the liver, it's gonna shut you down. Your pneumogastric nerve is gonna be turned on and you're gonna and your everything in your body is just gonna be shut down. The first thing you need to understand before to, you throw a hook to the body is that you always need a combination. Reason number one is to close the gap. If you're starting a fight, you're in a long range, you can't just throw the lever hook because you're not gonna get to the, to the target. So you have to throw a combination to close the gap and to position yourself. Normally, you will go in a 45 degree angle so you can be closer to the lever of your opponent. You, have, you wanna be closer to his right side. That's number one. Number two, you throw a combination so you don't expose your face too much. I throw a combination in order so he's, he's worried about his defense and then I can throw my liver hook. So I, I use my combination as a, setup, as, as a setup so I can punch. If I just throw my liver, I'm gonna leave open to a counter. And number three is the same. I wanna, I wanna be setting up a space. If I just throw the liver hook, he's gonna be already covering his liver. So I'm just gonna punch his, his arm. I want to combine so he opens spaces. Whenever, whenever your opponent is defending, he's moving his elbows so he's opening spaces. So the combination is gonna help you to create that space to land that shot. How to throw your liver shot step by step. First thing, you gotta position yourself. You already did the combination. You have to be well balanced. Number, number one is to never put too much weight on your front foot. If you put too much weight on your front foot, that will not allow you to turn your hip and create that power that you need in order to throw that shot. So you have to be well balanced. You turn a little bit your shoulder to create more leverage and more power. And whenever you're gonna throw, just uh, think about someone pulling your shoulder back. So someone pulling your shoulder back and then you have more leverage and you can go around his elbow. Because whenever you're gonna throw a hook, if you just throw it like here, a, a close shot, you're gonna land on his arm. You need, to, you need to go around so it needs to be real, really, really circular movement. The palm has to be facing you and your arm is gonna be uh, traveling 45 degree angle, just like a summer. You, you throw the shot in the liver and you're gonna go through his opposite shoulder, just as a samurai. So you get in position, don't put too much weight on your front foot. You're gonna use a, a circular movement, pulling your shoulder back and thinking of it as a samurai in a 45 degree angle to cut through his opposite shoulder. Whenever you're gonna throw a lever hook, you need to understand your range. If you are too close to your opponent, you can't create that leverage or that power. You're just gonna turn and that, those shots are not gonna carry any power. So I would suggest to always use a half arm distance. What's a half arm distance? Basically, you extend your arm fully and you're gonna bend your arm. This is a half arm distance. From this distance, you can, you can punch your opponent and you can create that power to deliver. If you wanna go in a longer distance, uh, in a full extension, you can do it, but you have to remember to pull your shoulder a little bit more. You're gonna throw uh, the punch, but if, you're gonna, if you wanna reach, you have to pull your shoulder a little bit more so you got that reach. I would suggest 
that the best position to throw the lever hook is the half arm distance. So start training, throwing punches from this distance and whenever you want, just throw that lever shot in the heavy bag. So now I'm gonna show you the tap and whack or combinations you can use whenever you're gonna throw the lever hook. Always think that you need your opponent to, to close his to close his elbows so in order to, to throw the lever hook on, or in order to open that space. So you can throw an uppercut, an uppercut with a tap, just a tap, just a tap, just to make him close, tap, and then you whack. That's the tap and whack. You just tap your opponent in order to make him move or to make him react and open that space, and then you whack, you throw, your, you throw, you throw with power the second shot. So it's a setup punch, the tap, and the whack is a finisher. It's a, it's a powerful shot. One combination that I love to use is the one that Lomachenko does, the, the pulling hand or the pulling arm. Whenever he pulls your, your, your arm, you're gonna throw the punch normally here. But what I do is I pull the hand of my opponent and whenever they go like this, the instinctively they're gonna, they're gonna pull their hand back just to cover the space that I have created. So they're gonna leave the lever open. So I, like, I love pulling or pulling their hand down. And whenever I pull the hand down, they're gonna instinctively put their hand up and then just throw the lever hook to the body. You have to be creative, you have to be playful, you gotta be experimenting with different techniques and different combinations. But remember always to use the tap, just a, a, a speed punch, just to make him close the, and open that space, and then a whack with power, a powerful punch. Thanks everyone for watching my video. Remember, what I teach is not regular boxing, it's human chess, a new discipline, a new philosophy, where everyone can train and everyone can be involved in boxing. So whenever you are fighting or whenever you are sparring with someone, try to be playful, try to be creative, try to share a time with other people and make them grow. If they grow, you grow, and that's the whole point of human chess, a new philosophy. So share with other friends, and I'll see you next week for the next class.